Hi, I'm Chat Mangubat. I'm 57 years old and I'm bank retiree. Ever since I was younger, I was drawn into this type of design. It's American Southern living. For me, it's homey, it's stylish, it's creative, it's organized and not complicated. And it's very approachable and it's cozy. We have an outdoor space that is almost 1,000 square meters that we use for activities and functionalities. Like this fire pit and gazebo that we truly enjoy, especially during the Burr months, wherein it's really cold here in Silang. To break the white colored theme of the whole house, we have this stone wall cladding that gives an earthly accent to the exterior. As a plant lover, I made sure that we have enough space for my mini garden and greenhouse. We like inviting friends and relatives over, so to accommodate, we have a sufficient parking space for them. Since this is a one-story house, we thought of having an open space concept to make it simpler, to maximize the space, and we also want to promote family banding. So we have two rooms here. We have the guest room and the main bedroom. In 2020, at the height of the pandemic, my husband's employer offered an early retirement plan, which seldom happens. So we discussed it very carefully and we agreed that we wanted to enjoy our retirement while we can. My favorite part of the house is the porch because this is where I usually do my meditation in the morning or when I want to slow down, drink coffee or tea or maybe read my favorite book and just watch the trees swaying and the sound of the birds because this is where I relax. I also want to share some details that we have here in our home, like the sheep lap walls, which I am so obsessed about. These sliding barn doors with black metal tracking and French windows with plant boxes completes the overall farmhouse vibe. My husband Oman is really obsessed with bricks. That is why he used it as a wall accent, carrying that pattern up to the backsplash. We also have this ottoman that serves as an extra sitting and footrest or even as extra storage. I named the place the porch farm and house because the porch is the main highlight and that makes the house stands out from the rest. Going to the main bedroom, it was really non-negotiable to me that there is a dedicated space for my clothes and other personal stuff because I believe that every wife deserves a walk-in closet. One unique thing about the main bedroom is we have a balcony or veranda for our morning and afternoon coffee. This also acts as an additional dining space if you want a change of scene while eating. During the construction of the house, one of the struggles was the driveway. Since the house was built on the highest point of the property, we need to put in tracks of gravel and sand so that the driveway can come into level with the house. What I learned in the process of building this porch farm and house, well, this may sound cliche, but you might have heard of this. As sabi nga ng matatanda, kung ano ang itinanim, siyang iyong aanihin. This is the fruit and labor of our 34 years of hard work and sacrifices.
We chose to have our groundbreaking on December 8th of 2021, the feast day of the Immaculate Conception, because we want the date to be significant, and of course, we want our home to be blessed. And from that day on, the construction took place already and ended on May 2022. This house was built by our ever-reliable and trusted architect-slash-contractor. A husband and wife tandem, architects Gerald and Joan Castillo of HJNJ Architects and Design from Marikina. Ganon sila kasipag at tiyaga. Marikina to silang Cavite. About our future plans, actually, we want to retire here, but not necessarily giving up our house in Imus. We do not want to speak too soon, but right now, there are no plans of having it leased or making it available on Airbnb. Because you know, this is something personal to us. So, this is it. This is our gift, our long dream farmhouse. I had a vision of this, but I didn't expect this will come sooner. Really, God is good. That's why my crisis happened, because He has better plans pala for me and for us. If you have an interesting or inspiring story that you want to share, email us at stories.onlygood at gmail.com. At para wala kayong mamiss na video ng OG channel, subscribe na and hit the notification bell to get updates on our latest episodes.